of the yeast and uh, but uh, for the uh, requirement of the yeast for the ethanol formation we always need the glucose right so uh, for the uh, glucose is not available in the starch directly though so uh, enzyme is added enzyme amylase is mostly added either enzyme can directly can be added or any kind of cell can be added like bacillus subtilis is best uh, for uh, um, this uh, liquefaction and liquefaction basically uh, is required for uh, conversion of um, uh, starch into the glucose directly glucose is not obtained uh, rather than uh, maltose is there uh, dextrin is there so this uh, kind of substrate is produced this kind of product is produced and this is the partial hydrolysis of starch and you can see ki there is a loss of viscosity in these hydrolysis partial hydrolysis and uh, this this conversion is essential before the sacrification before the final fermentation right so sacrification um, completed in the 4 to 40 to 50 hours in in, in this uh, form. sacrification production of glucose is there along with the maltose so uh, gelatinization is the first step in the uh, total mass is uh, uh, converted or heated uh, right so uh, this uh, after cooking and after uh, fermentation there is a um, dextrose uh, there is a formation of dextrin and this percent hydrolysis of dextrin can be calculated by the dextrose equivalent that is the D and uh, there are two steps uh, in the hydrolysis also uh, wet milling process and the dry milling process. Wet milling process is something different in which H2SO4 is added, dilute H2SO4 is added and uh, this uh, mess after this powder along with the dilute H2SO4 left 24 to 48 hours and these grains don't require separation. Uh, the, the, these grains require separation. A grinder is there. A grinder uh, make them powder and then separation is done by some machines and uh, in which fiber is separated gluten is separated and it starts uh, get separated and uh, these uh, uh, can be separated by the centrifugation process and the separated uh, gl gluten uh, can be dried can be filtered and they can be uh, made for the poultry feed and uh, the such type of uh, uh, liquor is called as a steeping liquor they can be concentrated and dried uh, for the poultry and rest of the ethanol uh, obtained after the uh, action of saccharomyces cerevisiae and th th that ethanol undergoes the distillation and this distillation you can get the final ethanol uh, uh, one can see uh, what is the temperature pH and time requirement for these all operations uh, for my massing uh, you can see the mixing of water is there hot boiled water is mi mixed and the pH must be around 6 uh, and time requires not more than 10 minutes liquefaction is the hydrolysis of the starch um, and uh, starch can be hydrolyzed by the use of alpha amylase enzyme and alpha amylase enzyme uh, concentration required 100 to 100 unit per gram of corn and temperature a little bit higher 70 to 80 degrees centigrade is the favorable and optimum temperature pH uh, has no change time requires a little bit one hour uh, or two hour and uh, in one to two hours this operation is completed and then third step is applied uh, the sacrification sacrification is done by the action of glucomylase 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 um, the little bit lower concentration of enzyme is required that is 120 unit per gram car and uh, temperature is around 60 to 65 degrees centigrade pH a little bit lower and time is half an hour required for this uh, sacrification completion now uh, this whole uh, this whole mixture is ready for the fermentation and after that yeast can be added a little bit in higher concentration yeast added 1.5 to 10 power 8 per ml temperature is 30 to 32 degrees centigrade pH is 5 and time required from 1 hour to 1.5 hours so totally 40 to 45 uh, 45 hours or more than 60 hours even some time required for the complete fermentation all right and then uh, we can see this is the operational unit uh, of the ethanol conversion uh, in the US uh, Louisiana state and you can see there are two uh, different uh, milling processes there one is the dry milling process wet milling process and there is a lot of difference uh, 
uh, between these two processes but mostly dry milling process is most favorable and at large scale production of ethanol from the corn dry milling process uh, is assumed to be operative and uh, beneficial and also sometimes economical uh, but uh, for this grinding is the one of the most uh, important criteria and this uh, grinded powder form of uh, corn can be separated and then enzymatic liquefaction is done by the addition of um, bacillus subtilis and then uh, another uh, in another fermentation vessel uh, where sacrification and fermentation goes simultaneously enzyme and yeast both are added and you can see uh, after the enzymatic action um, uh, the dextin is obtained after the hydrolysis of uh, starch and uh, yeast uh, the favorite substrate of the yeast is glucose or fructose or sometimes sucrose is there and then ethanol obtained undergo the distillation and distillation uh, ethanol can be obtained and whatever the solid residue left uh, is called as the stepping liquor and uh, these dried dishless grain can be dried uh, centrifuge can be separated to obtain a um, uh, feed animal feed that is very nutritious and rich in various nutrients useful proteins are there and another process is the wet milling process you can see the in wet milling process uh, the uh, ethanol can be obtained from the corn by the chemical treatment is there very simple treatment chemical treatment uh, either as dilute ester can be used for the stepping or for uh, SO2 uh, gas can be used and uh, then uh, the degermination there defibring de is there by the use of machines and after the machines uh, and the gluton separation is there and these gluton can be hydrolyzed or liquefied by the enzyme and these enzyme convert this starch into the glucose or dextrin or sometimes maltose is there then um, addition of yeast uh, is uh, done for the fermentation for the ethanol production and this uh, uh, CO2 is a lot of CO2 evolution takes place that's the indicative of the completion of fermentation uh, even you can see in the distillery plants there is a lot of CO2 produced during the fermentation and these ethanol can be distilled for production of uh, ethanol uh, concentrated ethanol that can be used uh, uh, for many processes and uh, uh, sometime uh, after the distillation there is a corn gluten solid left over there that can be utilized for the animal feeding and uh, that's why uh, uh, there is a both use of uh, solid separation and liquid separation so messing in it uh, the purpose is to separate out to reduce to separate out the reducing end and non-reducing end by the action of various enzyme and there are various enzyme uh, beta amyl is there alpha amyl is there limit dextinase is there you can see the green color uh, the branching the, these enzymes that acts as branching and uh, branching of sugar unit and thus a sugar unit thus can be separated red color shows the action of alpha amylase they are a kind of endo amylase which acts between the sugars and breaks one four um, glycosidic bond and uh, blue color you can see the beta amylase is there and beta amylase is some kind of exo amylase which uh, can act from outside and and thus uh, they can um, break down the starch into different components and uh, hydrolysis and fermentation ensures that uh, that uh, ethanol will form after the um, conversion of uh, uh, starch to glucose and glucose to ethanol and you will see the chemical composition of various starch various starch can be used for the ethanol production corn wheat barley sorghum rice potato sweet potato the corn has the highest concentration of starch less some some eight to ten percent of the proteins and um, potato a little bit nine to twenty five percent starch very low potato uh, low starch and sweet potato you can see 10 to 30 percent starch is there and this is the again the configuration of a milo starch uh, configuration of starch and starch consist of a milo and a milo practice and alpha in this uh, slide you can see the action of alpha mileage is there and then uh, glucoamylase action is there. Glucoamylase especially breaks the branches. Branching is done at alpha 16 bond, and that's why glucoamylase um, breaks the uh, amylopectin especially. And if uh, glucoamylase we are not adding, the possibility is less that this branch will be uh, degraded. And alpha amylase acts on 
um, both linear chain uh, either in the amylose and the amylopectin and they are mostly breaking the alpha 1 for bond so this is the amylose water soluble and they can be uh, identified from the amylo pectin by the treatment of iodine iodine gives purple color with the amylopectin while uh, with the amylose they give the blue color uh, this is the depiction of uh, which uh, microbes can be used fungus also can be used like aspergillus bacteria can be used like bacillus subtilis temperature requirement is very very uh, important for the fungus and bacteria um, this must not be changed and uh, temperature is almost same for bacteria and fungus while ph is little bit different and this is the uh, uh, graph uh, showing the um, um, showing the relation between the pH and enzyme activity if you see the there are two temperature 40 degree centigrade and 70 degree centigrade at 40 degree centigrade the enzyme is very very less active and enzyme activity decreases after some time while at 70 degree centigrade uh, the activity of enzyme is very high so you can ensure that there is 100 percent conversion of starch into the uh, dextrin or maltose and similarly oleosaccharide dextrin further can be degraded into to the glucose um, by the action of uh, glucoamylase optimum temperature is 4 to 5 and uh, temperature is 58 to 60 degrees centigrade so sometimes aggregation can be combined with the fermentation and you can see the activity optimum temperature of glucoamylase action is 60 degrees centigrade where enzyme activity is high this process is called the sacrification so after sacrification the fermentation is formed by the yeast and uh, ethanol can be obtained at optimum temperature this is the end of the slide thank you very much